Hi, I'm Tomer, and you're watching 15 Minutes. Dude, it's I'm so excited today, and and I'm excited too. Look at that big ass canvas. Look at that, man. Wow, Jonathan, you ready? I'm ready, but yeah, yeah. All right. So what well, we are? Three, two, one, go. What would you listen to, for example, like before you go to bed or something? That before you go to bed is like all this old hippie spiritual Indian funk. Okay. Nice. Just to relax. But um, when I'm out driving in my car, like it's like, I don't know, I listen to satellite radio. I always put it on the 40s channel. Either the 40s or the 70s channel. There's always good music there. I like that era of music. It's good, it's because they recorded music back then on just tape. There was no editing, no, everything had to be played live. You had to be very it's talented to record. What I really loved it was my shit was uh, old New York freestyle music. Do you remember that? From the New York freestyle? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it, it, like, end of the 80s. It's like, yeah, it was the end of the 80s. It was like Stevie B and Company B. Yeah, yeah, Stevie B. Oh, uh, Stevie B. Oh, my God. I didn't hear these names for ages. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the 80s was... Uh, uh, end of 80s was was kind of a revolution with the rock music that came out and a lot of parents that time didn't like that type of music that came out so um yeah. it just seems kids, like with every generation man it's just some new kind of music comes out some heavy and they hate it right 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 yeah yeah it's, it's even now there is a lot of different things that I guess parents don't like, I'm a parent, so, but uh, I didn't get to that point with my kids yet. <laughs> Everything my kids listen to, I like some of it. Some of it's talented, some of it, it's just ignorant. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> I'm sure that's what my parents said about my music, so I guess that's just how it works. How much more do I have? Five minutes? No. <laughs> oh my god you put yourself into it every week i'm like maybe next week i should make it a little bit easier for me because i i, I stress a lot but now it's but, not happening so that's pretty process. you know i do that same thing with corn records i always like back myself into a wall because i need i only got so much time and i need to get it done but that's how i make the best art it's when i'm under pressure you're a wizard dude that's just <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jonathan, do you do you collect art, right? Yes. Do you um, very into it, into fine art and paintings, right? Yeah. I just, I really, really wish I could paint like that. I just, I wish I could do that. You um, know what? Let's replace I, right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I admire it so much. Um, just the technique. I mean, you could you could actually draw or do whatever really good, but once you're putting uh, paint on a canvas, be it oil or acrylic, it's, that, that's just a whole new talent. And I've always loved people paint. One time I had an interview and they asked me, why am I always pushing to paint musicians? And, and the straight answer was maybe because I wanted to be a musician and I just can't. <laughs> I tried to play guitar. I tried to play guitar so many times and I'm horrible. Like it just doesn't work. My fingers doesn't, doesn't, doesn't get it. Like there is no connection between the fingers and the brain and it just doesn't work. We're just a wired different. I, my art with my ears, yours with your eyes.
Okay. Okay, I know where I'm at. Get that motherfucker. Get <laughs> that I love that. I love it. <laughs> Damn, Homer. You're a very talented artist, Tom. Dude, you, it's, it's been amazing with you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on, man. I appreciate it.